Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create flange in the swept walls drop down in the generated sheet metal design workbench in KTRU5. So this video is a continuation of the video just I have uploaded just before uh, which is uh, based on creating the flange with the basic option. So let me start off creating a basic basic uh, wall so all my videos will be starting from the scratch so that uh, any person who opens up and who wants to learn they can uh, uh, start off creating from the scratch <coughs> so for creating the flange the first thing you need to have is a basic wall which I've just created now now for creating the flange go to the walls toolbar you have the flange option let's go to walls and you have the flange option right here so invoke the tool by any of this method and select the edge over here and you have the sprinkler option coming up so in my previous uh, tutorial based on flange I have uh, missed up to say one thing uh, that is about uh, the flange plane so I'm going to explain you what is this flange plane so flange plane option this checker is used to specify uh, the inclination of the flange with respect to a plane so I'm going to create a plane here so what has happened over here is an inclination has happened so what inclination whatever has happened is uh, with respect to the plane which I have created newly so once I click on OK and another, another thing that you need to notice uh, in this particular case the trim support will be uh, disabled and what you can uh, what you can see is only the flange plane is being selected all the other options over here are all the same as I have explained in the uh, previous tutorial so once you click on OK, the trim, the support will be trimmed, and uh, the remaining flange will be ke kept. So that's how you can create the uh, flange with, uh, I mean, uh, flange with uh, the plane inclination. And uh, let's see how a limited option will work. So I'm putting Control Z. So I'm going back. Now let's see how we can create the limited option. So again, go to the flange tool and select an edge and in this time you can go to the relimited option so basically relimited option is used to uh, limit the distance where or the, the portion where the flange is being created so let me just uh, select the limit one option create plane and I'll create a plane somewhere over here I'll click OK and uh, the next plane I'll create it somewhere over here so uh, the flange is going to get created between these two planes here so as you can see here this is how the relimited option will work all the other option what you can see the length and the angle and the radius all are the same which I have explained in the previous tutorial so that's how you can create the uh, flange with the relimited option in the generated sheet metal design workbench in Kitsia file. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope this uh, tutorial is going to help you in your sheet metal uh, projects. Thank you so much for watching.